yeah, look at that. Look at that. Pastrami, Russian dressing, uh, roast chicken, American, Wisconsin cheddar, lettuce, onions. That's Big Reggie's lunch today. <laughs> The ballast is going in that light and it went in this one so what I've done is I've taken the tubes off I got brand new tubes for both and I got two new ballasts but uh, I wanted to talk about those ballasts for a second so here is the old ballast now this ballast is probably 30 years old 25 years old probably weighs 25 pounds here's the new one might weigh 10 ounces but there's a slight difference. You see this ballast has two wires here, a red and a blue, and a black and a white. Here's the ballast opened up, and you'll see that there are three wires and a black and white. And they give you this little diagram. And all it is is these go to obviously the black and the white. One of these blue wires, one of these blue wires, let's get up here, let's get up here and show you. Okay, so there's our black and white power coming in. Now I've already turned off the fuse box. Those obviously hook to this black and the white right here. Then each blue wire goes to both of these. Now it used to be all wired. The power used to go in here. This was connected to this. And then it also went over to power the ballast. It's not the way these new ones work, they're a little different. So like I said, you've got your blue, blue, and red. One blue wire goes to both of these. You're gonna cut these, or if you want the length, keep the length. But these get twisted together and go to one blue. These get twisted together and go to the other blue. And then the red one goes down and connects to uh, both of those wires. So those two, that blue and red get twisted together and goes to this red one and it's as simple as that and then you have a much more efficient ballast runs cooler the lights run brighter so I'm not going to show you putting it in I just wanted to explain the wiring so I'm going to go ahead and wire it in there clean somebody's cobwebs off <laughs> and uh, put the new tubes in I gotta put the inspection panels back on put the tubes in and we're good to go so let me get that in and hopefully it works and doesn't burn my house down <laughs> and I'm not an electrician, so don't take my word for it. If you don't know what you're doing, get someone that does. So I got my new bulbs in. They're all cleaned up. Ballast is in. So like I said, there's a few differences. Uh, your power used to come out of the wall. Line power would feed these and was teed into these to go to those two ends of the fluorescent. Now the power goes straight to the ballast. The two blue wires come back and feed that end of the fluorescent lights and then the red goes to the front and tees into both of those so basically the ballast is there blue wire goes to that bulb and in that bulb end so two separate blue wires one red wire teed to both and the black and white to your power now let's go see if it works shall we oh and look at that so now I gotta do that one um, I'm not gonna do it on camera because that one flickers when it's been off all night which means the ballast is about to go so, I got my lights back. I'm happy. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers, everybody. On one final note, I forgot to mention this in the video. Um, this is the old uh, magnetic, oil-filled, heavy ballast. And again, this is the new type. Uh, but what I wanted to mention was, it basically comes down, and it's this simple. Because I never talked about more than these wires, like having more. Uh, this is your line power going into the ballast. Just goes directly to the line power. It doesn't go anywhere else. On the old system, they had a way of wiring these, combining with these, with some jumpers. That's why sometimes in the old fixtures you'll see yellows. The new ones, it's as simple as this. You could have a ballast that has four blue wires coming out of it and one red. And basically the blues are all independent. They each go to the end of one tube. So if you had f four fluorescent tubes, I just love my art. So here's our four tubes and a four light fixture, and then you got your ballast, and you got one, two, three, four blue wires and a red wire. 
and then these you go to your line. These are those ones, the black and the white, right? They just go to line power. Each one of these blues would literally just a blue wire, you know, a blue wire. And it's kind of getting messed up, but if you had four blue wires, right, they would go like that to the ends of those tubes. The red connects like that. It's that simple. So whether it's one, if it's a single tube uh, ballast, it would have one blue like this one, one blue, one red. Uh, this one is for two fluorescent tubes. So I have one, two tubes, and then the red common. You get it. So it's that simple, folks. I just wanted to mention that.